my work starts from kind of teaching and pedagogy and being embedded in particular communities. And then the painting ends up being like a document of the time spent with particular communities. So it's a way of, of showing a document through time and, and being attentive and slowing down time because painting is a medium that's about slowness in a way. And for a very long time, I've been painting people from life. That kind of attention to the presence of somebody that I'm painting usually while they're witnessing the work being created is very particular to painting. First, I meet the communities now, sometimes via Zoom. After COVID, there was kind of an opening in my work where I didn't necessarily have to have the subjects right in front of me. But I have many instances of getting to know them and, and interviewing them and reading of their archives and their history. And all of that comes into the work, the individuals, and then the background is a kind of fleshing out of their stories and the wider context that I get to know over time of their communities. I'm really interested in the way people assemble, how groups come together and the kind of different economies that happen through various different workforce or leisure environments, you know, how people might form different friendships or associations within a workforce and that's something I observe over time working with particular people. But obviously one is an individual within the larger group and I usually my compositions are formed from like a pastiche of sorts from various different photographs or actual sittings, depends on the situation. And so it's really the individual within the group. Oftentimes the individuals are meditating or kind of for themselves, you know, they're, they're contemplating or resting because that's actually what happens when you're painting somebody from life. Oftentimes through the process of painting and putting together different groups, different configurations may, may sometimes come about and uh, you know new friendships may emerge or they get to see themselves in a different way. But I'm also really interested in this different economies of profit sharing with painting, like giving part of the proceed of the sale of the work to the communities I work with and having the paintings in some ways be a platform for their practice. In this case, they're artists as well. Pedagogy has always been part of my work, but kind of participatory pedagogy, and that's exactly what Shin Myung does. It's fascinating because they've been working for 40 years. They started two years after the tragedy. They were really at the forefront of the marches, and so it was public theater as a way of getting people to participate and to become actively involved in the protests. My paintings actually don't have much of a tradition of one-point perspective like the Renaissance, but it's kind of the history of modernist painting. So I think about them as like characters moving around in a stage that is in some ways like a political stage. And I think that's what, what I was so excited when I worked with them yesterday and was thinking about their props and just how all the characters interact and later there's a kind of redemption, you know, when finally the souls are released from their suffering. It feels like at the end of this theatrical performance, the Shin Myung, they recreate the May 18th story, but there's a sense of finally closure.